This is the 59th straight year that the National Defense Authorization Act, the NDAA, has passed Congress. I'm honored to have been a member of the conference committee that worked with the Senate to come up with a compromise bill, and I'm honored to be a member of the House Armed Services Committee that wrote the NDAA. This year's NDAA includes policies that I fought hard for, including mental health screenings for everybody returning from combat. The Fentanyl Sanctions Act I co-authored as legislation to stop Chinese fentanyl from coming into our cities and towns. Regular cyber posture reviews to make sure that we're keeping up with the cyber threat we face around the globe. Parental leave for all federal employees. Let me repeat that. Parental leave for all federal employees. That's a huge win. Upgrades of the less than honorable discharges made under Don't Ask, Don't Tell. People who are kicked out of the military for just being who they are. Funding for the helicopter engines that are made proudly in Lynn, Massachusetts. This bill ends PFAS chemicals used in training and schedules their complete phase out by 2024. And it includes 4,000 visas for our Afghan allies, the translators and support staff that are so critical to troops on the ground. We didn't get everything we wanted in this bill, but that's the nature of legislation. It's compromise and it's supporting our troops and our national security. And that's why I'm proud to vote for it today.